I'm telling you, just don't go there because remember, no door, no die. Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back with another video. Today we're going to talk about loss in translation. So I just said no door, no die. So today we're going to talk about what this has to do with anything or just something. As you can hear, no door, no die is a little bit of Chinese and a little bit of English all mixed together into one sentence. So I want to tell you guys how this happened and what it means, when to use it and why. So let's get started. Let's get to it. One, two, three, go. This sentence is slang. It's Chinglish slang. Chinese, English, mixed together, Chinglish. Usually it's used on the internet by Chinese students. This sentence is now a thing online because many Chinese students, or actually most of the Chinese students, they try to learn enough English to go abroad. And while they're doing this, they obviously also speak Chinese. So when they're talking to each other, they tend to mix things up a little bit. And uh, yeah, then these things happen. No zuo, no die. So English, no and no die, right? The Chinese word then, so I read that it's the pinyin, the first sound, so it's like, mm, it's so no so no die. So in many different Chinese dialects, so is to do something stupid to get attention. So no so no die. What does this mean then? It means that don't do anything stupid or else it'll come back and bite your behind. When I was reading about this first, there is some kind of similar thing in English, like don't play with fire. So this one, don't play with fire, and the Chinese one is like, if you do something stupid, it will come back and bite you. I feel like these two have some similar meaning. Um, it's definitely negative. As an example, I would like to use a Hong Kong niece. He's very famous for being anti-China, anti-mainland. So he was creating a movie and he was starring himself and another Hong Kong woman. And uh, when this movie came out in China, not many people, very few went to vid went blah. Very few went to watch the movie. So you could say that because he had been criticizing China a lot, a lot. In the end, nobody came and watched his movie in mainland China and he didn't earn any money on it. So no zua, no die. He was playing with fire and he should know by now that Chinese don't like that. So no zua, no die, right? It's his own fault because he did it. So it will come back and bite him. So remember next time guys, when you meet some Chinese people and they're about to do something very, very stupid, you can say to them, remember, no zuo, no dai. No zuo, no dai. No zuo, no dai. Thank you guys for watching this video. It was all for today. I hope you learned something. I hope you can remember no zuo, no dai for next time. Um, you're in a situation where you can use it or you can just try it. You know, try with some Chinese friends and see how they react to it. Maybe they can tell you more about this phrase. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos from Ling Ling, please subscribe on the bottom below. And until next time, 再见!